Hello and welcome to round three back nine action of the eighth annual Spartanburg Spring Fling at the Woodruff Leisure Center brought to you by the Hub City Disc Golf Club. In catch cam today we have Michael Bowman. Drone footage courtesy of Val at Cinco. Commentary team is Owen Camp and Vern Wyant. On the card today we have Zach Wysocki from Campobello, South Carolina. Hartford Burley from Taylor, South Carolina. Evan Rogers from Simpsonville, South Carolina. And Lance Harden from Easley, South Carolina. Hole 10 is a par 4, 407-foot shot that requires players to avoid the OB walking path to the left, then make their way into this recessed area for a hopeful birdie putt. A short par four. We'll see if any of these guys try to make a move and go for this hole. It's a good shot from Hart. It's on the fairway. It's way up there. Put the pressure on Zach now to do something. See if Evan tries to make the move. Two strokes back. Mm -hmm. Maybe tries to go for the eagle here. He's definitely got the arm to Big do it. Big shot. Needs to hold that turn. Doesn't oh. quite hold it, but that'll still be a putt from down there. I mean, yep, he's pinned yep. high. Mm -hmm. That's a that's an option to go to, to go for that putt. Yeah. We saw Zach have some scalders with this disc at Tiger. Let's see what he does here at Woodruff in this open hole. Ooh, a nice little hyzer to flip. Mm -hmm. It's going to be out there. That's fine. That's an easy up and down. He's yep. going he's gonna to take his putter out of the bag, put it underneath the basket, and move on. One forehand out of these guys. I would, I would have thought that I've maybe seen more with the OB walking path up to the upper side. Yeah, OB walking path, and also the way the hole's shaped. You know, I think it's it's interesting though. The hole's 407. Uh -huh. I don't know if you know. There's not a ton of guys that got 407 on a forehand in the bag, but yeah. you know, Lance has got a good forehand there, and he really put it out there. He's almost pin high, so yeah. Zach, no interest in running that putt. Yep. Playing, playing smart moves right now. Lance might, though. He's looking at it. He's sizing it up. Gives it the height it needed mm. and not quite. Evan also probably sizing this one up, looking to get some strokes back. And I don't know if he was running that or decided <laughs> last second to lay it up, <laughs> yeah. but... Maybe Lance. his heart wanted it, but uh, his head, head said no, just lay up. You know, Lance still comes away with a birdie here after that smash of a drive. Yep. Yeah, he was able to run the putt for Eagle and still take a, a, an easy birdie. Mm hmm. Hard fixing some chains. Got to do everything he can right now to stay in with Zach, make sure he's going through his routine and everything's the way it should be. They're both going to take their birdies and, and continue on tied into hole 11. Star frame from the card there, too. That's to be expected, I think, from mm -hmm. them on that hole. One I really wanted to see on coverage. Hole 11, par 5, 699 feet. You've got the jungle here to start going through. Uh, tight tee shot. Sloped hill right here is your, is your first landing zone, so you'll see folks, you know, sitting on that hill and having difficulty with that and then hopefully a second or maybe a third shot going down the traditional fairway here up near the basket a lot of trees a lot of natural ob and then you've got the the creek about two-thirds the way down there's danger all the way on this one and then the basket is elevated at the very end oh yeah and really one you want to get closer you, you want to get clean off of this tee pad i mean I think this is one where you just throw whatever you can get through this gap. Mm -hmm. Wherever it lands, it might roll on that slope. It, so I don't think there's much to worry about on, on landing zones. This one really is just get through the gap on your first shot.
Evan's going to hit that hill and roll to the bottom. That'll be just fine. Yeah, he got out of it. Sack. Lining up that backhand. Looks like a faster disc in his hand. Oh, just right. Yeah, pulled it just a hair. That's going forehand. Well done. Yeah, that's a great shot through the through there on the side of the hill. Mm-hmm. He'll have a nice second shot. And this is the difficulty uh, of the hole showing you right here. I mean, if you're not out of that gap in your first shot, yeah. there's a lot of trees still you have to contend with. There we go. I mean, Cart was trying to put a little too much on that uh, on that second shot and ended up pulling it. Sack throwing a nice shot. Mm -hmm. Getting out to the flat ground and the fairway out there. It's well thrown. A little, a little swampy down where Evan's at right there, so he decided to go with a forehand shot. Still very solid. Yeah, and here we're going to see, I think, two shots here back-to-back -back that are on the slope of the hill. Mm -hmm. Your center of gravity is a little lower left than your normal shot. Hart throwing a good shot there. Just going to go left a little bit, but that'll putt. Lance looking at this. A little low. That'll be an easy pitch up, maybe a long putt from there mm -hmm. for Eagle, for Lance. Yeah. A little too much hyzer from Zach, and there's some OB there, short left. Yeah. Looks like he stayed in bounds, but... Evan wants this, put some height on it. Mm-hmm. Lance down here for the long eagle look. Now, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't there one eagle on the day from, was it KP, Kevin Peterson? I think KP had a putt at it, okay. but did not make it. Gotcha. Oh, great bid by Zach. Hart's actually down here a, a lot further than, than I remember him. Yeah, for MA1, this averaged 5.2, so just over par. Mm -hmm. Fourth hardest hole on the course, so three other holes were harder than this one wow. out on the course. So. Oh, man. Evan, I think, really needed that one to stay in the hunt here coming down the stretch. I wouldn't count on getting much more on Zach and Hart the way they're playing right now. Yeah. Only so many holes you're going to have left to, to try and get some of that back. And most of them are decent birdie opportunities. Good solid uh, putt by Zach. And Evan's going to clean up there. Hole 12, par 3, 164 feet. This is a very short tunnel shot here. Um, there's a very specific line you have to hit either with a turnover backhand putter shot or it's just very tough. But there is a line. It's just a... Uh, it's there. Yeah. A little high from Lance, oh, but it, 
just kind of get most of the way up there. I think I think you really want the low shot here. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of you know uh, dry dirt in front of you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if you put it maybe even halfway down the fairway and on the ground, it normally skips up to the basket. Yeah. I mean, it's very gettable. But if you're if you're off your line at all, then bad things can happen too. And a couple holes down the stretch, we've got Evan 22, Hartford at 23, and Zach at 24. So. Yeah. Trying to make some movement. Trying yeah. to put some pressure on Zach going down the stretch. Evan just peered the gap, too. Well, Another pure shot. That's a little strong, though. That might be a, a comeback putt. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, catch cam guy did not catch this one. Um, it actually went a pretty long way, so it was so good. Yeah, that seemed... And if you've been paying attention watching Zach throw a putter, now here's a different shot from Hart. He's going forehand roller. Mm-hmm. It kind of worked out. Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> He's got a putt at it, so... Uh, okay, that's a little longer than I thought originally, but he gave it a run still. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Zach's over here making his own fairway. Yeah. He might be further away from the basket than he was off the tee. Good run at it. Evan needs this. Try to get back in the mix. Oh. Just a hair low. Lance actually ended up in a pretty decent spot. Just a wide open putt. Yeah, this is great. Just left of that tree line out here in the open. Mm hmm. And fairly close to the basket. There you go. Yeah, Lance getting a good birdie there. A little shout out to Played Against Sports. I saw on the back of uh, Lance's shirt that he's sponsored by them. Everybody cleaning up here. How'd this hole look on the day? You know, about middle of the pack, it averaged 2.92. Hmm. Only seven birdies on the day. Here's it's, a plus for It's us. in the middle. It's it's the ninth hardest hole. Wow. Hole 13, playing from the short pad, par 3, 246 feet. Popular play here is going to be a forehand flex shot. It's pretty simple. Everything's right there in front of you to uh, to miss and, and to look at the basket. Mm -hmm. How much is this tree on the left-hand side right before you get out getting your head? You know, I don't think much for me at all. I think the, the shot really plays more to the flex forehand mm -hmm. more anyways than like a, a flip-up forehand. So as long as you're, you've are you made the decision to throw the flex and not the, the flip-up, I don't think it comes into play too much. Lance found it, though. Yeah. Lance was looking to get over on it early. I think it's that it's that late chopping forehand gotcha. that you want to throw here with something really overstable. I am by no means a forehand master, but every time I try it, I seem to nail that tree dead center. Yeah, Evan's got it there. It's that late chop. He put it way out in the gap and gotcha. then left. Yeah. And so really when you're thinking about that chop forehand, right, that tree on the right maybe comes into play more so. Okay. Because you really want to come over on it from over there. There's yeah. so much room left to this basket, mm -hmm. so much room out there, you can kind of just chuck it out there and, and be fine with it. And Zach's going to show you that backhand flip-up line, and that is great. And again, just drilled. He's, yeah, he's telling himself to slow down. He's he's, <laughs> he's maybe a little, up, yeah. a little hyped up, a little adrenaline, a little pressure on him coming down the stretch in the tournament. He's hitting his putters hard. All right, and... Hart might go more with a flip-up forehand. It's kind of a late flip from it, but still that same premise, right? Yeah. Using that space out there to the left late mm -hmm. in the hole. Lance trying to get out of trouble here. He's just going to pitch out onto the fairway. Get him, give himself a long look and a chance at mm -hmm. more. It's 
good line, just not enough on it. Yeah. Heaven's got a putt for birdie from over here. Needs this. Um, mm. Really some uh, last couple of holes really for Evan, right? That he's had a, a couple of putts to try yep. and get himself back in this. So, um, you know, those putts drop and he's right there with Zach even on this hole yeah. right now. So I think that was one shot where he, he was kind of looking at the at the basket and that tree that he hit wasn't even in his in his periphery. Zach with a little bit of a comebacker again. He drills it. Yep. That's uh you're talking about stepping on the pedal here. That's a statement right there. He's he's here, he's he's trying to keep that lead and mm -hmm. last couple of holes here down the stretch wants to put that pedal down. See if Hart can can keep pace with him here and keep Zach within one of them. Oh, oh, and that was, I mean, that that's one that uh, it definitely could have been better, but it, it could have stuck. I mean, I've, I've seen worse stick before. So. Yeah, no kidding. I had forgotten that um, from when I was filming. Hmm. Make sure to get the basket. It's love tap, though, still. Yeah. Hole 14, par 3, 257 feet. Um, this is one you got to find one of many gaps through here you want to throw something that's going to stable up at the very end and dive towards the basket and Zach's going to throw this I think this is the slammer he's been throwing I like this play you throw it out wide right and let it sweep mm. back left and, and through hopefully a little skip over into that's going to catch one of the guardian trees on the skip though and not get as close as he wants it Something happened there at the the edge of the tee. He stepped funny. I don't know if uh, he got closer to the edge than he thought he was or because um, everything was looking smooth. And then there was something happened with his feet and then he yanked the disc there. All right. Zach's a little further out. Maybe has a long putt. Chance for Hart to, to make one up. Only so many holes left. Definitely an opportunity for Hart here. That Great looks shot. good. Needs to miss those trees. Great skip, yeah. Got a little bit of a roll there at the end, but he's going to have a putt, put some pressure on Zach, hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lance putting his arms up. Where's it at? Yeah. That thing went up in the stratosphere. Evan trying to make sense of, of the fairway from over there. That's a tough angle to be at. Mm -hmm. A good bit at it, but sit down now. All right, Zach with a long putt. This could really be a big statement here. Oh, and he still gave it that bit. He was going for for that statement, but yeah. And Hart a chance to to make one back and get him within one. Yeah, that one stuck. <laughs> that one's a little bucket. short, like the other one, but he got that one to stick. A little thank you tap to the basket. Lance actually fought through everything pretty well to get back there. There you go. Yeah, Lance picking up a good birdie, trying to solidify his placement. Trying to finish with a solid round out here. Evan, Evan giving him a nice fist bump over there. Zach needs to make sure he makes this for, for his par. Doesn't drop anything easy down here. Yep. yep. Nails it. All 
All right, going into hole 15, we've got a battle on our hands. Zach's going to be one ahead of, of Hart. And hole 15's our hardest hole on the course today. Par 3, 280 feet, going uphill to this basket. Some late trees to miss, a little bit of a slope, but other than that, it's pretty much straight in front of you. This is the theme of Woodruff. You gotta be able to throw straight. Oh, and Hart leaking that left. Got the box, got the pressure on Zach, and he needed that one down the fairway. Mm hmm. And hardest hole on the course today. This average. 3.8 for MA1. Wow. So a lot of big numbers on this hole. If you're if you're left or right, especially early, mm -hmm. it can turn into a big number quick. And birdies are not easy here. Lance kind of high up there. A leak out left. Yeah, this is another one where you, you've just got to be able to throw straight. You can look at it and maybe there's a tree at six out on this side, tree at six out on that side, but I'm, they're not really close enough to the center where you have to flex a shot. Yeah, if you've got a shot, I think Zach's shot sets up perfectly for this. He's got that putter he throws dead straight. Rico knew even before it came out of Zach's hand. You hear me? He went, mm-hmm. Yep. He knew it. He knew it. It looked good. If anything is, is in Zach's wheelhouse, it's throwing straight, especially that putter. That The, the putter shot straight. He throws very, very well. And straight seems like the easy shot, but it, often it's the hardest to throw in disc golf. Mm -hmm. Right? These things are round; they're not meant to go straight. Yeah. All right, we got a couple of early shots in the woods. We got a couple of couple of scramble shots coming up. Evans looking up. Hart really needs to get this up there, and hope Zach misses a putt and he can stay within one. Oh, I think he got a good kick off that tree. Mm -hmm. Kind of out there, and he might have a putt for three. That'd be good. Evan getting through up and down. Lance trying to pitch up and down here. I think that'll putt. Mm -hmm. All right, Hart. You need this putt here. Drains it. Wow. Put some pressure on Zach. Yeah, run that one down hard. Zach's pretty close, though. He's still not up. I think Lance from back here. Settle. Oh, stop, disc. Stop. Finally turns over. Trains the comebacker though. That's a great putt from Lance. Mm. Oh, and Zach's got a easyish looking putt here. Drains it. Solid. Keeps that pedal down. Stays ahead of Hart. Gets it gets one more on him too, going into the last couple of holes. Hole 16, par three, 384 feet. This one glides to the right. Um, some of the guys are going to take a forehand shot. Others are going to take a long, lazy backhand turnover. So we'll try to find a way to navigate the trees and get down here to the basket. Yeah, a tough hole. You know, coming down the stretch here, the end of the tournament, I said hole 15 was the hardest hole on the course. Hole 16 is the second hardest on the course. So mm -hmm. some tough holes here down the stretch that will decide the tournament. If you're playing the course as a tee time, as these guys are today, You've already gone through two and a half, almost three complete rounds, and then the two hardest holes on the course just step right up at you. Yeah. It's some uh, some opportunities for guys trying to make moves and some tough holes for guys to, to hold their position. Yeah. Tough holes for some folks to fall <clears throat> apart on, too, coming down the stretch, right? But yeah. you got to hold on tight to these holes. You can't slip up. you gotta you got to keep that focus all the way through the end of the tournament. That needs to turn. Um, he threw that old school meteor again, and, and that thing just did not turn. 
as you would have expected it to. Lance going with the forehand. Looks a little inside. Mm -hmm. It's a tough, tough hole. That gap is, is not very wide, and once you hit that gap, you got other gaps to contend with. And A great looking shot from Evan with the putter back in. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That is not an easy shot to get all the way over to that basket and and miss all those trees. That's a, a great shot from Evan. Yeah, that's masterfully done. Oh, Hart hits this little tree right, uh, you know, one of the guardians there. Zach, smartly, just pitching up, getting yep. near the basket. Don't make it any harder than it needs to be. Oh, wow. Just short. A great birdie from Evan. That's a that's a that's a really good one. There were five birdies on the day on that hole, and and Evan was one of them. Mm. Hart lost concentration there just for a second. Yeah, you know, part of it for Hart might be he knows Zach's pulling away. Yep. And he's he's only got so many holes left to catch him, and and only so many strokes he feels like he can get back. So. Yeah, and if you're waiting for Zach to mess up and you've been watching him, it's probably not going to happen. You'll be waiting for a while. Yeah. Hole 17, par 3, 282 feet. The main obstacle here are the trees coming in and then this creek that runs just in front of the basket that you got to watch out for. So you want to either be short of the creek or across it. So you really have to make your decision when you're throwing off the tee. Am I going to try to cross it? Am I going to try to land short? Oh, yeah. Evan, just short. He's safe. Safe. Yeah. Catch cam guy did not run down to get a picture of it, but, um, yeah, he was on this little mud bar down there. Not pleasant to stand in, but also happily standing in it so you can make a, a short putt. I think Zach's happy with anything that's not OB here. Mm-hmm. Yep, and that looks like it caught some trees and fell down short. Should be an easy up and down for him from there. Mm-hmm, indeed. What a roll. He goes a little left of the basket. I think that's Lance, that's a great shot. He he throws it, you know, up and high, lets it swing left, way to the safe side of the basket. Mm -hmm. That's the way to do it. Hart's going to go with the turnover backhand line through here that's opened up ever since that tree fell. He didn't quite get over on it enough, unfortunately. Yeah, it's going to be a little short in, in the woods over there. Is that going a little forehand up shot? Going to put it up there next to the basket. And somewhere in there is either Bigfoot or Hart. <laughs> well, one of them pitched out very wisely. Zach's just going to tap in for his par and move along. Evan gingerly climbing down into the creek on this little mud bar down there, catching his balance. And now getting to the job at hand. That's two good birdies in a row for Evan. Yeah, he's he's trying to come back, maybe give Hart a run for that second place position. Yeah. A good putt. We see Colton on the bag over there for a 
Lance. Rico letting Lance know that was a good good shot, a good putt there. <laughs> Hole 18, par 3, 271 feet. You got another straight shot. You got to go across the creek, and then the basket's up on this ledge here. Number one, you don't want to hit a tree. And number two, if you get up on that ledge, you don't want to roll away. Yeah, another one of these straight shots that are out here at Woodruff. You gotta know how to throw straight out here. Oh my god, I flipped out so early. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I think Lance having that uh last hole of the tournament there. Maybe <laughs> mentally wasn't locked in. Yeah, maybe ready to go home. Zach, the three-stroke lead, knowing he can do basically anything he wants, and decides, well, I'll just park the hole. Yeah. Just kind of put the uh, put the staple on it. Hart trying to secure that second place position, going a little long. Lance over here going to try to save a, a par, try to get up and down if you can. This was one that uh, it was tough for the uh, catch cam guy to follow this one. He, he heard it there at the end though. Evan with a long look, try to put some pressure on Hart for a second. Oh, it hit high right chains. Lance is over here in Narnia trying to get towards the basket. Gave it, a, gave it a bid. Yeah. Zach to secure his first place and uh, win by at least three. Solid. Yeah, just really solid shooting from Zach. We mentioned a couple of his strengths, you know, that straight putter shot out here and a couple of the eagle clutch plays that Tiger he had, and Hart's going to run that putt, roll down the hill, Mm. Might have a longer comebacker than he had a original putt. Yeah, that's one he can go home <laughs> proud on. Yeah. A good par, fist bumps all around. This was a great card. Yeah, hey. I remember talking to Zach. Um, it was either this event or you know, one before this and asking him about it, kind of teasing him, when are you going to move up to MPO? And he's like, i got to figure out how to actually win a tournament first. Point. I think he's done it. Definitely got it. You can see a couple of movements up here. Uh, you know, Hunter coming in with a great round at minus seven to, to get himself back up there on the leaderboard, and Michael shooting a, a great nine down to, to bring his tournament back as well, and, and Zach topping them all. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.